away. You, you, you're running away from the things that I'm able to do for you. But after your leg mends up, hmm. you realize you stay closer to the Lord. Hey. After he mends your situation, you stay closer. Well, come on now. After, after he changes your, your, your thought process, you stay closer to the Lord. You start studying the word. You start learning the word. You start strengthening in the word. And you realize that he is able to do exceedingly and abundantly more than you can ever think of. I never once thought that I would be a pastor. All I just want to do is teach and preach the word. But now he's assigned souls, which makes me become closer to him. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. So I thank you for that, Lord. Yeah. Point number three, God is able to give you a place of learning in his bosom. In his bosom. It says, in the bosom of the Father, you begin to learn that it is your Father's good pleasure to give you things to you. He's not taking anything away from us. Nothing. He's not taking anything away from us. It's just us thinking that we're not worthy to have this. We're not worthy to do that. We're not worthy to this. When that's not us. That's not him. It's, it's us. Hmm. Through his teaching and, and loving us and through his kindness, you know, at the time, the scripture is, uh, at that time with uh, 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 John, which is the one that Jesus loved, it wasn't necessarily in his bosom at that time, but 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 they sat next to the father. They was at the table when they were going to when, 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 when the one that when John asked them, which one will betray you, my Lord? He said, the one that dipped his bread in the water. Hmm. See, because when you're close to the bosom, you get insight in what's going on. You get clarity in what's going on. He, he's going to speak to you in a way that we need to be spoken to. This is the bosom, the Bible, his word. As we get into the word and we start dissecting the word and, and, and allowing that word to, to speak to us and, and, and get into us, we're getting closer yes, to his God. bosom. Yes. It's in his bosom that we find uh, 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 that comfort and, and, and that understanding to walk worthy of the calling that he's called us to be. Like I always say, we got to work circumspect. we got to walk circumspectly to the Lord. That means getting in his word is, is getting in his bosom, allowing that thing to penetrate in us and, 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 and get down to the root of the matter to bring up the good fruit that's within us. You know, we are chosen, we're chosen priesthood, beloved. Living stones mm. built up in a spiritual house for the Lord. So it's our job as we get into the bosoms, more people get into our bosoms, and, and, and that thing spills over and over. And then we get new people like Daniel coming in. We get new people like Ariel coming in. We get new families like Andy's families coming in. Because God is able to do. This is a hospital that healing takes place. My sister-in-law is a prime example. Because God is able to do it. Her faith is long and strong. So point number one, we got to understand that the security is in his hands. But our strengthening is on his shoulders as he's carrying us. Our learning takes place.